Hi right, guys, this is my next video. So in this next video, I'm going to be doing the momentum trick. I don't know if you can see me. There's these guys on YouTube that are blowing out a momentum with their so called chi. Well, I say. It is just air. Um, the first one I'm going to do is the obvious one, and then I'll move on to the glass. This one over it. That trick. I'll just do, this, do the first one first, and then I'll move on to that. Um, the first one, <laughs> you really don't have to be rocket science to work out that it really is just air, and you, you guys, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Alrighty. Like the first one is quite obviously. Like I mean, you can see it quicker as I move the hip. Done. Simple as. Um, it's the same. And this next one to prove it's actually air and not my chip. Who said that I don't have cheese? Wow. <laughs> okay, so you guys are saying, how does me doing that make it wiggle out? Well, it all depends on how you do it. This, this glass that I'm using, I've actually cut myself. I don't own, um, a proper lantern or the same lantern that you guys are using. So I don't have the same thing. But this is relatively the same thing. Um, either one or two things are happening when you guys are doing this. Um, depending on the style of lantern, the base may actually be lifted up like that. It may not be sitting down. What that's doing is if you actually have it sitting down like that, you'll have a better airflow, air so I'd, you know, I'd imagine most lanterns are actually made like that. Which would mean it's using the Venturi process. And what you're doing is when you blow air through the bottom, by like moving like that, you're actually pushing it under the bottom and you're disturbing the Venturi effect, or the Venturi process. If you don't know what the Venturi process is, Google it. <laughs> so if I lift this up, get the screen and this goes out. Now let's say yours is a bit better than that. Let's say yours actually is down like that. How is this working? How is like me doing that actually putting it out? Well, since I might have chi, I'm going to use an air compressor. Just like that. I'll do it again and again. It doesn't take a lot of air. I mean, it's not hard. Um, the difficulty with mine is simply the shape of this glass. It's not an ideal glass to be using whatsoever. But simply what's happening is the air is coming down. And the way you guys are hitting this, I've actually seen a lot of you guys do. 
is you guys are coming up from like up here and pushing down like that. And you can even see when I do that with this clapper of glass, you can see the flame flicker. Now what you guys are doing is you're actually pushing the air as your hand travels forward and the air is travelling down and in. What I'd like to see you guys do If you guys are so great in your machine, is set the same thing up. Set up the exact same thing that I have right here. Okay? Put this over. Okay, and have no no holes in the bottom. None. Silk. None at all. And then and then place something over the top. That has holes in it. Do something similar to this. And now try to put it out with your cheese. No holes in the bottom, only this hole in the top. Only one small hole in the top. Good luck, guys. If you can do this, I will be amazingly impressed.